As fitting for a camera aimed at the social wedding and photojournalist markets, it features a 3.9 frame a second shooting speed. While clearly this isn't fast enough for shooting sports, it's plenty fast enough for most of the sort of subjects it's likely to be used for. The camera also features a modified buffer and UDMA card compatibility. This means that with a UDMA card of class 4, which is the current standard, you can shoot 14 RAW files or 310 large fine JPEGs before the buffer fills up. The camera is future-proofed as well, because although class 4 is the current UDMA standard, it's also suitable for use with the UDMA class 5 and class 6. As fitting for a camera that's going to be used in those sort of markets at around 3.9 frames a second, the autofocus system has been slightly redesigned. While in essence it's essentially the same system as that found on the predecessor EOS 5D, it's been slightly tweaked to make it respond just a little bit quicker. It also takes advantage of some new live view autofocus functions. There are three AF modes in live view now. We have quick mode AF, where the camera uses its own autofocus sensors. There's a live mode AF, where it performs a contrast-based autofocus detection from the sensor. And there's the live view face detect autofocus. Here, the camera will focus and track a face within the scene. 